Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. And we are here at uh, Mumbo Sky Base. <laughs> I, I haven't been here before. It's looking absolutely fantastic, if I do say so myself. I was in the nether, uh, and I noticed a new tunnel that I just kind of saw and thought it was amazing, and I had to see where it went. Um, it goes straight down there. No, not really. Uh, it comes out here, and it looks really good. I like it. I like it a lot. It's very nethery and very redstone-y, uh, and I like it quite a lot. But I wanted to do a little bit of something in today's episode, and that is I would like to go this way to the Mega Taiga, uh, or towards the Mega Taiga, actually, not actually to the Mega Taiga. Uh, and there is, over here, a nether fortress over in this general direction. Um, which I noticed in one of Iskal's recent episodes. Totally didn't even realize that it was here. I mean, I built the portal that goes to the Mega Taiga right there. And I didn't even realize there's a nether fortress right there that is in, like, pretty much the perfect location. Like, it's in a great spot. It really is. Um, now, getting down there... Getting down there, on the other hand, that may prove to be a little bit more difficult. Um, did somebody leave me a way down? I suppose I can just go this way. That might work. Yes, beautiful, great, awesome, grand. Okay, so what I want to do is I would really, 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 really love to get my hands on a couple of wither skeleton skulls today. I would like to get a beacon. Oh, look at that shot. Oh, not a one-hit kill on that one. There we go. Beautiful. Um, I'd like to get my hands on a wither skeleton. Uh, and, and I wither, basically, so that I can kill wither skeletons. We need to get rid of all these blazes, though, or they're going to light me on fire and kill me, and it's going to be bad. And there seems to be another portal that actually goes here. Oh, hey now. Come here, blaze. I know you're there. I see you. Got him. Got him. Okay, he's dead. Um, I'm actually going to destroy... Do I want to destroy that blaze spawner? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Uh, and some of you may not like that plan, but there are plans to turn this area into a wither skeleton farm. And if that's going to be the case, we really don't want that blaze spawner there anyway, because uh, realistically... We're going to want to maximize the amount of wither skeletons that spawn around here. Come here, guys. Go away. Well, don't go away. Drop drop your heads. Please? No? No? No luck. Okay. Well, I do have a looting three sword. Um, doesn't have smite on it, but it's something at least. Hi. Hello. Go away. Whoo! Whoa, where are you shooting at me from? Sneaky blaze. You think I don't see you there? I totally see you there. Go. Oh, that was a terrible shot. There we go. Got him. Oh, man. These guys are everywhere. Why are there so many blazes? I... T mm. I do need some... Uh, I do need some blaze rods, actually. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I have... I have fire resistance. Can I make it out? Can I make it out? Maybe... Oh. Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe. Wow. Oh. Go away, blazes. Wow. I cannot believe that I just survived that. And I'm not dead. Oh. Oh, man. I, I can't even right now. Like, I have no idea how I just lived through that. I thought I was dead. Wow. Go 1.9. I love 1.9. It's my favorite thing. I just was fully submerged in lava for like, oh, that was probably a good, what, 30 seconds, guys? That was a while. Um, 
And through the power of food saturation and fire protection four, because I only have fire protection on one, I only have fire protection four on one piece of armor, I somehow managed to live through that. Wow. Oh, I'm not complaining. I am certainly not complaining. I'm just a little bit in shock. Is that a... Oh, hello, Blaze. Go away. How did I live through that? Okay, yeah, this is a bad place to be. We don't want to be here. Um, go away, Blaze. You too. I will take your Blaze Rod. Thank you. I need you. Oh, okay. So that's a thing. Um, we've got a staircase that goes somewhere. Looks like somebody else has kind of been here as well, looking for stuff. Or some- Oh! I'm on fire. Yeah, you know what? The fire doesn't even bother me. The the fire can't- I am I am immune to the effects of fire. That's right, Blaze. Look at, the, look at me not even taking damage from that. That's beautiful. There goes the skeleton. Hopefully the pigmen aren't mad anymore. Yeah, the pigmen weren't mad at me. The pigmen were mad at the skeleton. Still! How? How did I live through that? I have, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, guys, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, wither skeleton killing now that I know that I'm pretty much immortal in the nether. And, uh, you know, I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I've been here for a while, and I am just not having a whole lot of luck as far as wither skeleton skulls go. Here are two wither skeletons, though. Maybe I'll get lucky over here. Come at me. Oh, there's two. Nope. Maybe? No. Still nothing. I've probably killed... Oh, I don't know, maybe 50 wither skeletons by now. Um... So, maybe I'm just getting unlucky. I mean, obviously I know wither skeletons are relatively rare. They're not something you generally get very easily. But... Oh... I don't want to hit the pigment. Okay, we're good. Um... But, I'm still not having a whole lot of luck. I haven't gotten anything yet. Hmm. They are spawning, though. So, I mean, that's good. I might just have to spend some significant time here off camera. Ooh. Oh, oh actually, I would have been fine. Oh, my, my hunger's, like, gone. Sue, so, that's too bad. That's too bad. I was really hoping to, uh... I was really hoping... To get some wither skeleton skulls today so we could fight the wither and I could get a beacon. That would be very, very helpful for some of the plans that I have. Because some of the plans, if I can insta-mine, that will make my life just so much easier. Um, but, I digress. What I'd like to do today, in today's episode, other than fail at getting wither skeleton skulls, is I'd actually like to do a little bit of work here uh, in the nether. We've got this area. We've got this this pathway that leads down right here, but, I mean, it's cobblestone, which is fine, but it, it doesn't, I mean, well, it's not even really cobblestone, it's netherrack, we have a little bit of cobblestone, I'd like to get some cobblestone in, uh, to make it a more durable path in case a ghast, um, ghasts it? What do ghasts do? What is the verb for what a ghast does? Do they ghast things? Shoot fireballs? I don't know. Uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to actually do a little bit of work and kind of dress it up, make it look a little bit better, and more importantly, make it a lot more durable so that it doesn't, uh, you know, break into a million pieces if gas come at me. So, that's what we're going to work on. I'm going to get a couple materials together here. Uh, they should pretty much, everything I need should pretty much be in my basement, I think. I don't know if gas can destroy clay. I'm going to assume that they can. But I don't know for certain. So maybe what I'll do... Actually, let's grab a few stacks of cobble. Uh, you can... Do, wow, we actually got a, quite a few blaze rods while I was in there. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, let's maybe grab... I've got so much of this yellow clay, and I think it's ugly, but it might work. 
if we take like maybe six stacks of that and then maybe some stone brick maybe that will be enough to kind of do the trick for us and then i'll grab some uh some stone brick stairs and maybe a little bit of cobblestone stairs as well um and should probably grab a crafting table cuz i have a feeling i'm going to need it at some point okay so that should be all the materials i need I think I'm actually going to grab some more fish as well. There we go. So let's head back into the nether and let's see if we can work out a little bit of a pathway design here. Um, just kind of leading down. And I know that uh, Tango and I think Impulse is probably going to help. I know that they're kind of redesigning the whole nether portal uh, or the, the nether hub. I know that's still a work in progress. Um, so whatever I make here may very well just be temporary. And you know what? That's totally okay. If it's... If it's something that has to get torn down or moved around or whatever um, because they moved the nether hub, like, I'm okay with that. That's totally fine. Um, but what I want to do is basically just take this pathway and bring it down to like, pretty much a safe location. Like, that's kind of the goal here. Uh, so I think the first thing to do would be to take maybe some yellow stained clay like this along the sides. And what I'm thinking, uh, let's actually get the bow out of our inventory. What I'm thinking, actually, let's put the bow in place of our shovel because we're not going to need our shovel while we're here. So we'll get this kind of yellow stained clay that comes across like so. And as I said, I've got so much of this stuff, I have no idea what to do with it all. Um, like, I have more yellow stained clay than I have chest space for yellow stained clay. So I don't feel guilty about possibly wasting some of it. Like, it, it, it's fine. If, it, if some of it goes to waste, I will not shed any tears. So we'll maybe do something like that. And then what we need to do is start kind of bringing that down. Um, so, oh, that's, uh, well, you know what, if I waste a block of it here and there, it's not going to be the end of the world. As I said, I've got so much of it that it doesn't even really matter. So let's maybe bring this down. Like that. And that will give us kind of our outline for the little pathway here. Do the same on this side. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yes. There we go. Okay. So I think, I feel like that's a good, that has a good feel to me. I, 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 I'm, I like the way that this feels right now. Now, on the other hand, we have this giant gaping whole thing in the bottom and that does not feel so good to me so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just get rid of all of this nether rack and we're gonna replace it with something that's a bit safer because safety is a thing so let's go let's just throw you away um let's throw that away and let's just throw down a crafting table. Actually, let's throw it on the crafting table right there. That should do. I hear a ghast. This is not the kind of job you want to work when you hear a ghast. I see the ghast. He's down there. I don't think he can see me. I think I'm fine. So let's make a bunch of stone brick. And then let's make... Um... Let's make some stone brick slabs like that. And I think this is where I want the slab level to be. Right here. And this will also help prevent zombie pigmen from spawning on it, which is always a good thing. Now, it's not going to look all that amazing from down below. In fact, it'll probably look pretty bad from down below, but on the flip side, it should look relatively okay 
from up above. So we'll do maybe something like this. And I'm actually just going to tear out all of this, I think. Because it's pretty much all netherrack. Yeah, let's just, let's just do away with all of that. There we go. And there's a bunch of materials and things that fell, but that's okay. Oh, hello, zombie pigman. And let's see, this should be our level where we're placing stone bricks, right? It, what? No. You. There. Okay. Yes. There's another one. It's that ghost block. Those ghost blocks drive me absolutely bonkers. I really hope that they someday fix that. Oh, that's... That's a ghast. On a positive note, I have just learned that ghasts cannot break hardened clay. So, experiment is a success. And I can't seem to hit this guy. Will you leave me alone? Thank you. Unfortunately, this... This didn't fare so well. Let's see if we can maybe do a little bit of a patch job. Sorry, whoever built that. Um, it was it was an accident. It wasn't intentional, I assure you. There we go. Okay, so we've got kind of like a more a little a little bit more of a basic bridge here, which definitely I think feels a lot better than it did. But there's still a lot of work to be done before it's anywhere near uh, actually completed. So, oh, and then there's this actually goes straight there, doesn't it? Or the other option would be we could build a bridge there. Maybe that's what we'll do. I would need a lot more materials, but it would be doable. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's just mark... Like, right about here, I think, is where it would have to end. Somewhere around there. And basically, as long as I'm in line with that, I'm not too worried about it. And let's just see if we can maybe get some of that figured out. Because I would like to basically just make a bridge that goes from right about here. Where's my bow? That... That was not my bow. Fire! Oh, look at that shot. Beautiful. Okay. So, let's see. This... These two blocks are essentially... My... Yeah. So, I would want to build it up, like, right about here. If we're gonna do something similar to what we did over there. So let me get the kind of outline shape type thing of this bridge going, guys, and I'll come back to you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back. So I got the second staircase in place. It's ready to go, uh, and it should all be working just fine. Now, I need to clear a spot to get us over there. And I just realized that these two bridges are on a slightly different elevation. Okay, so here's what we're going to do then. Uh, let's actually go here, and let's maybe bring this down, and bring it to here, and then these will all go away, and we'll bring... Um, go away. Out of my inventory. We'll go maybe, like, here? Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to change this up a bit, I think. Uh, cause right now it looks, it looks pretty terrible. And don't worry, guys, have faith. Have a little faith. Um, this is really not something I'm super worried about. Um, actually... Instead of bringing it up that high, why don't we just bring it to 
here? Oh, that was a terrible idea. Let's just bring it to right there. And there we go. That looks much better. Okay. So elevation-wise, that feels pretty good. Now, I need to lay down these guys. But these darn zombie pigmen are all in my way. So we'll just kind of do something like that, I think. And then I'll draw another yellow line like that. And do I want to take out this wall? I kind of want to take out this wall, but I kind of want to leave the wall at the same time. Um, I know that if I do take out the wall, I'm going to want this to go there. No, not you. Why you do that? There we go. We'll get something going like that. Fill that in. How do we feel about that? Does that feel okay? Or do we... Or would it feel better? I think it would feel better if this wall right here of netherrack, just this row of it, I think it would feel better if that disappeared. And that. There we go. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. And then this goes all the way down to the nether fortress over there. And that part... Hmm. You know what we could do there, actually, to make it easy on ourselves? We could make this the basic level. And we'll just bring it to, like... Oh! Okay, hold on. Getting shot at. Go away. Missed. Got him. Well, that didn't quite work out as I had planned, but, uh... You know, that's part of the reason we're doing this. That's, that's definitely part of the reason we're doing this. So that there's a safe and indestructible way to get over here without having to worry about getting killed. Because that was kind of close. That was annoyingly close. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish bringing this over, and I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So, almost finished. Just laying down these final little bits. And I've come to the decision that the bridge itself is really not that amazingly pretty. It's really not that aesthetically pleasing as far as the pathway goes. But it is functional and more importantly, it's safe. It can't get gasted. So, you know what? For now, it's good enough. Uh, if we decide that this is not going to be a temporary path and that we are actually going to do some sort of, like, serious building in this area, um, then maybe I'll consider changing it up. But for now, I'm pretty good with this. I think this is fine. Um... So, let's just put some stairs down like that. And there we go. We got a pathway that leads all the way back and is safe. Missed. Got it. Can't be blown up. Got to love it. But guys, I think that is pretty much all the all the time that I have for this episode. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.